And taking a look at other international stories making headlines today, the United Nations Security Council has rejected a resolution calling for Israel to end its occupation of Palestinian uh, settlements by 2017. And for more, we connect again to Paul E. at the News Center. Paul, how did the final vote to go down? Well, there were eight votes in favor on the council, two against and five abstentions, meaning it was short of approval by just one vote. The watchers say that the motion would have been defeated anyways, as the U.S. would have likely exercised its veto power. The resolution called for a peace deal within 12 months and to restore the territorial lines that existed before Israel captured the West Bank, Jerusalem and the Gaza Strip in 1967. Defending Washington's opposition, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Samantha Power, said it was the wrong path to take. We voted against this resolution not because we are comfortable with the status quo. We voted against it because we know what everyone here knows as well. Peace will come from hard choices and compromises that must be made at the negotiating table. Today's staged confrontation in the U.N. Security Council will not bring the parties closer to achieving a two-state solution. Jordan, which sponsored the Palestinian resolution, expressed regret over the decision. Its ambassador, Adina Kawar, said that Jordan would continue to work to resume peace negotiations between the Palestinians and Israelis. Mm.